What's going on, y'all? SWV Reunited Season 2. This was a short season. This is Episode 6. And it's over. It's the finale. Um, It's coming back next season. I think they're doing like... They did say on the next season. So it technically will be Season 3 when it comes back. So it is coming back. But I just wish they would have gave it at least a couple more episodes. Because I hate the way that they left it off like this. Because I want to see what the fuck happened with Corey. They should have at least gave us another episode. Then cut it off. Or just gave us the 8 episodes that they gave us the first season. But whatever. So... Basically, this episode was dealing with the aftermath of what happened in Jamaica and the fact that Taj lost her voice. And, you know, when we start off the episode, we got Taj and Eddie going to the um, Hall of Fame. Well, Corey, not Corey, uh, Coco, she's back at home with her husband and she's telling him what happened. And, you know, it was real cute to see her son jump into her eyes. and was like, Mommy, I was like, girl, uh, little boy, how old are you? But anyway, it was real cute to see that. And she was telling him her concerns about what happened and how, you know, Taj's voice went out and it, it just wasn't right. So, come to find out, Michael, I, I think that's his name, her husband, Michael or Marcus, whatever, Coco's husband, y'all know I'm bad with names. <laughs> Coco's husband is like their, I would say, a creative director or whatever. He, he works with them, you know, with their stage presence and getting their show together and getting their voices and doing the choreography, making sure they everything is musical director, something like that. He works with them, all right? And, you know, he was had his little concerns. Um, Ty, she's back in, I think, Memphis, Tennessee with Eddie or Nashville with Eddie, and he's being inducted into the um, Football Hall of Fame, and he's getting his award. And while he's getting his award, Ty's just sitting there, and she keeps on getting these phone calls and texts from um, Corey. She's not trying to be rude and answer the phone right in there, but also she's trying to conserve her voice because she's trying. she's been trying to, you know, talk less and be on vocal rest ever since she came back from Jamaica and that disaster what happened. So with that being said, after this little scene with Corey, you know, wanted to talk to her, and then she finally answered the phone or whatever, and he wanted to meet up or whatever, and he comes to her hotel, and he was just basically browbeating her, you know, being, and he was so fucking, this whole episode, see, Corey, sometimes he makes me like what he do, and then sometimes, other times like this, it's like, you too fucking emotional and you too fucking involved with these women. You known them too long. You're Coco's friend, so of course all of your emotions are in there. And he can't really separate his feelings from the business, like his personal from the business. And it just it just irks me. It irks me the way that he handles stuff. I'm like, you as the manager, technically what you forgot is they hired you. They're giving you a trial run. They have the right to fire you if they want to, okay? Your spot is not guaranteed. SWV will always be there. You won't. There's a group was there before you, and it'll be there after you, unless one of the members decide to leave and they disband. That's it, all right? It's not about you, Corey. You come in there and you telling Taj what she already know. Taj is taking care of herself. She's trying to do the vocal rest, but Chad, you're... Coming down on her, basically yelling at her and telling her, oh, you need to take this serious and you was doing this. And you blaming her and you calling her out on stuff that wasn't even true. Like, she wasn't out there just playing around with her voice. And she didn't, it's not like she didn't go see what was going on. She sees the problem. Her voice went out. She's going on vocal rest. But yet you coming in there, getting her upset and hollering at you, y'all going back and forth, you're defeating the purpose. You want her to get her shit together, but yet she got to communicate and talk to your ass while you fucking hollering at her. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to sit there and let some motherfucker talk down to me like the way he was doing. Hell no, nah, voice or not, bitch, you going to get your ass cussed out too. I just wasn't here for the disrespect that was going on in this whole episode. I'm just like, calm the fuck down with that shit. So, he talking about some, um, Coco don't like what's going on. Taj and, uh, Lily, you know, they, they having issues and all this stuff with you and they don't like this and yada, yada, yada. He threw them under the bus. Coco may have mentioned something about it, but she didn't necessarily say that, you know, Taj was really fucking up. Coco understood what was going on. All right. And for him to throw them under the bus like that, that was very bitch made and puss. Okay. Um, so 
Taj go talk to Lily, and she was like, this is fucked up. They tired of having these issues with Corey, and they want to, you know, look for another manager. So Marcus is coming in from the label, and they want to talk to him. While they was having this little conversation with Marcus, they bring up the fact that they need to have find another manager. Mind you, Coco don't know nothing about this. This is her first time hearing about it. And she was just like, God damn, this is fucked up. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and so um, he suggests, I think this guy named Mark Goose or something like that. Either way, he worked with B2K. Um, he worked with Destiny Childs. And they heard Destiny Childs. They was like, oh. And then when it was like, uh, he actually worked on the uh, A&R or whatever for the last two couple of projects with Beyonce. They was really like, oh, okay. And I said, y'all better jump on that shit. All right, jump on it. And, you know, Coco was feeling a little type of way, but then she wasn't. <laughs> so she kept it on the low, like, y'all can't be doing Corey like that. But, you know, it is what it is. She sees what's going on, too. So I'm I'm glad that she didn't really blow up at them for, you know, doing it the way that they did it. Because, technically, Lily and Ty should have came to Coco first. All right, and voiced their opinion about that and said that this is what they were going to do. And asked um, old boy about, you know, the manager and stuff like that. But they go to rehearse and her husband, Coco's husband, is there. Once again, we have another issue. And he's getting on them away about the way that they sound. And he was like, oh, y'all sound horrible. And then he was coming down hard on Taj and Lily and all that stuff. And I'm like, damn, slow up. I know what you're trying to do, but it was just a little bit much. And, of course, Taj and them, they took offense to it. And they was like, look, I ain't finna do this shit. It was like, y'all in here playing games, y'all on the phones and all this shit. And I'm like, well, it's a new song. Mind you, he already know that they didn't do the new song. Because Coco told him that when they first, in their first, very first scene when she first got home. She told him why they didn't do the new song because they didn't know it. All right. So then he going to ask the question again. Y'all didn't do the new song. Why? Because they didn't know it. Why are you asking this dumbass question all over again? Just to, you know, it's just stupid. And then acting perplexed and dumb when he um when they say, no, we didn't because we didn't know the word. That's why they're standing there with the phone. And, um, you know, they go outside to talking, telling Coco, you need to talk to your husband. And you see the way that he's talking. Shit, I'm tired of this. We just need to take a break because he's been around for like the past seven years. And, you know, he was trying to give them a new stage you know, choreography and stuff like that, switch stuff up because it was getting kind of stale. And, um, you know, she was like, you just need to talk to him. And the only reason why you don't feel or you won't, you know, just step up and say something is because that's your husband. But they wind up on a car ride going home. She wind up talking to him and he was getting his feelings a little bit, but he kind of understood where she was coming from because the next time they rehearsed, he brought some flowers. He apologized. They ran through the rehearsals and... You know, it went okay for him. But his thing is, you don't want to put your ass on YouTube and people saying, oh, this was a fucked up performance, bitch. You could have, if that's the case, he was trying to save y'all ass in that, in that sense. But y'all, y'all put it out there for us to go in, you know, by putting it on this damn TV. Because that shit up in Virginia, this whole thing was trying to do this performance out there in Richmond, Virginia. And when I tell you, baby, that shit was a mess. It was a hot ass fucking mess, but we'll get there. So, um, Coco is me now with Corey, and he's like, you know, trying to tell Corey, uh, Coco what happened, uh, between her and Taj, well, him and Taj, and, um, he was like, you know, she said this, and then I just left. He did. He said all that shit. He was like, I'm doing this and you need to do this and you need to do that. And he just left the fuck out. He ain't say bye. He ain't saying I'm done with this. He just walked the fuck out. I said, you disrespectful little prick, you know. <laughs> and it was like, I feel like something is going on. And if you know that something is going on, please just tell me and all this stuff. And Coco wasn't going to tell him. And then she blurted out and said, well... They looking for new managers and all this stuff. And he was like, why did I even come back to this stuff and all this shit? And I was just like, you begged to come back. You begged to come back. You was on a motherfucking trial basis. And then you act, you begging them to come back. Like, you can't, you can't find nobody else to manage. You know what I mean? You know, when um, R&BD was, uh, Atlanta season three was on and Mila 
Mila Williams was on there. He was her manager. And she just now releasing a video for that song that came out months ago. Um, what? Oh. And, and you got not right to be mad? Girl, you got the... Girl, go sit down somewhere. Um, so he and his feelings over that. And Coco was like, don't tell nobody. Don't say nothing because, you know, they want to tell you together as a group or whatever. They're not ready to tell you yet. And... She has this little shoe or store that's opening. And all the girls was there and everybody was there. Corey comes over and was like, hey, you know, um, I know things got heated. But, you know, I'm going to leave because, you know, I know shit is just kind of weird. But I'm leaving. And Ty was like, oh, okay. Fine. Whatever. So, they go to Richmond. And I can't remember if they had a discussion before the show. And Corey, once again, was being Corey. And, you know, the whole time, fuck all of that. They get out on this stage. Let's just go in on this performance. This whole time, as a manager, you manage everything, all right? You manage the stage and all that stuff. You make sure everything is put together. He and what it was looking like, I don't give a damn if it was editing or not, but what it was looking like was you was just more so concerned about their voices. You weren't concerned. He wasn't concerned about whether the stage was fucking mopped and dry. You wasn't concerned about whether the, um, wasn't concerned about the sound, wasn't concerned about the mic, wasn't concerned about the music being played. You was more so concerned about Taj and her voice and if she can sing and all that stuff. And I'm like, are you checking in on everything else? Obviously, you weren't. They didn't have a live band. They had the music on the app high. The mics wasn't working. Soon as Taj or Coco tried to open up their mouth, Taj's mouth wasn't even, uh, mic wasn't even on. This is the very first song, okay? And then, you know, the music either was skipping, wasn't even on. The dude didn't know what to do. They like, all you had to do was press this button and then it'll click off. And I'm just sitting here like, this is so fucking embarrassing. And when they was trying to do that new song, Oh, my God. <laughs> it clicked on. Then it clicked off. Then they couldn't get it. Then they had to, you know, um, 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 fill up the time until they get the shit figured out. Then they was going to do an acapella. And then um, Ty starts to sing. And she did let them know that she ain't in 100%, you know, with her voice and everything. But, baby girl, ba she sounded horrible. Okay? I a for effort, but, baby, you sounded horrible. And the song is cute. But you just sounded horrible. The whole performance was whack. They gave a snippet of the whole the, the song. I'm glad they didn't try to do the whole song because they were not ready in the least. And it's just fucked up. <laughs> it was just terrible. And Coco was like, this is the worst. One of them, they were like, this is the worst performance we ever did. Ever in our career. And I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. You correct because this shit was not it. Girl. Scalp still see scalp. Y'all know like around, you know, week two. This is like towards the end of the week two since I got my hair done, redone. My shit done puffed up and all that stuff. But you know, you can still see the cap, the scalp and all that shit. Alright. Okay, it's doing something. They locking. But um anyway. <laughs> moving on. After that, after the performance, Corey trying to come down on them. Well, because they mentioned and said that, you know, we're going to get at Corey because he should have made sure all this shit was done, which is true. All right. And Corey flipped that shit and said, it, 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 do y'all ever think that it's not us? It's you. It's a Coco. It's a Lily. And it's a Taj thing. I said, first of all, it's all of y'all. OK, because none of y'all was prepared. All right. Did y'all really do sound check? I mean, obviously, y'all didn't do enough because this should have um, been prepared or whatever. Y'all shouldn't have had these problems. And then the way that he was trying to go in and get upset and, and, and say, you know, don't nobody want to work with y'all. And, 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 and they always going to want to work with a lead singer or whatever, some shit like that. I, he was just being so fucking disrespectful. And I was just like, Corey, you's an asshole. You really are. You see the reason why they treat you the way they treat you. And then he let it sleep out. This is how I know he's a bitch because he's like, oh, so you're going to do this? And I know that you did this, you stupid bitch. That's how he did it. He was like, oh, I don't got to deal with you. You take that up with your new manager anyway. Something that he said because he threw the new manager thing out there. And I'm just like, 
that's just 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 so fucked up. And Ty, <laughs> what's on that? Coco was like, Corey, you weren't supposed to say that, you know. And now at this point, Coco getting pissed off at his ass. And you know that was basically the episode. I just did not like the way Corey handled the situation. Corey. He, there was, there was nothing professional about him this episode. There was nothing about business about him. It was all about being bitch made and being very emotional and overly sensitive and, and, and just overly involved with the fact that you know them personally. That's what it was. His personal feelings just got involved in everything and it, it was clouding his judgment and the way to handle the situation. It, it, in, in, in a sense, it just escalated. And, you know, they showed a little blurb of what's going to happen um, on the following season and that motherfucker gonna say some, I'm worried about the Corey brand. I'm like, hold up. This ain't about you, bitch. <laughs> this is SWV Reunited, not Corey, the brand. No, no. But um, that was basically the He feeling himself a little bit too much for no reason. I'm just gonna say it like that. But um, y'all, that was the episode. That was the finale. I think the new season come back in January. That's what I think I seen on my tw um, Twitter uh, Coco had tweeted, but, um, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.